faster than show that it looks faster than doing this. So the topic of my speech is passion for birth, voice or otherwise. How many of you at work were asked by bosses or during interviews or at any point whatsoever during your work, are you passionate about your job? That's quite a standard thing to ask in, today, in today's world in MNCs. Are you passionate about the job you are working? And there is universally one concept which prevails throughout the globe. During my life, I worked in the US, in the UK, and in India now. And in all the three countries, I find one of the most valuable importance is the passion towards the jobs. So when I see that, I thought that it's quite dramatically opposite to the concept that we have in India. Because in India, you asked, and I, and I was asked in my, in my work, as I said, that do you feel passionate for the work you do? Do you feel energy and motivation for the work you do? How, I've been asked many times, how do we remember if you don't have the passion, if you not really feel for the work? I also used to think the same way years ago when I was a student. But as I'm getting older, getting more experience, fine, it is not true. The less passion there is, the better we work. The calmer we are, the better for us, and more the amount of work that we can do. You see, when we get loose of feelings, we waste so much energy, shatter our nerves, disturb our minds, and do very little work. The energy we talk to have gone out as work is spent as mere feeling, emotion, passion, which comes from nothing. That is why if you read the lives of all the great workers in the world, you'll find all of them were wonderfully calm men. Nothing as it were would throw them off their balance. That is why the man who really works well is a very composed man. He is not moved by any event whatsoever. Now this concept of work basically came about from India. In India, you have a religious text. And in that religious text, this verse was found out in the most excellent of you thing, Lord Krishna, in which he says, It is your duty to work. The fruits of your actions are beyond your power, so do not act the eye on the fruits thereof. Neither should you ask yourself the question why I should act if there is no expectation of reward. And what does that signify? That signifies that we should be unattached. Unattached to the work we do. So that brings us to the concept of the Eastern concept, the Indian concept of work, quite diametrically opposite to the Western concept, which is Karma Yoga. So what is Karma Yoga? Karma Yoga is the knowledge of the secret of the Instead of being knocked about in this universe, after long delay and thrashing, getting to know things as they are, we learn from Karma Yoga the secret of work, the method of work, the science of work. A vast mass of energy which is in our body can be spent in vain if we do not know how to utilize it properly. Karma Yoga makes a science of work. It tells us how best to utilize all the conditions of the universe. So, that is the secret which we ought to teach to others. The problem is, in most organizations, we are given only one sort of training. Why are you passionate towards your work? And nobody can reply back saying, no, I am not. Because my philosophy says, my ancestors say that the less passionate I am, the better I work. So that is the question I put forward to you all. Is it wise or is it unwise? Or is it otherwise? <laughs> that if we are less passionate, we are better workers or we are not better workers. Think of it. Think of it. What makes you work better? Basically, the concept again is work incessantly to avoid attachment to work. You see, all the pains and 
miseries that you see in this world, they are not the necessary conditions. If you are a student of mathematics, you will find that in calculus there are two conditions, necessary and sufficient. So the moment you see there is a business cycle, business cycle is nothing but two points where you have happiness and another point where there is misery. And where does this misery come from? It comes from basic capitalist concept of work, the economics book. The first year standard book of economics falls out so that you take it in your hands, they'll say that self-interest maximization. Profit maximization. But what do we say? These two parts of the world? I want to do good to a human being. I want to do good work. But it is nine to one that the man who I've helped will turn against me and prove to be ungrateful. Now such feelings, passions, create us a tendency and destroy a major part of our energies. And we say, no, we should not help him. Because he might be ungrateful. So the lesson that we learn, and we should really be concentrating on, is a lesson that we learn from our philosophy. There were great philosophers in the Western world, but they were great philosophers, I can say, older ones from India. And the lesson is this. Think of yourself like the lotus leaf that grows in ditch water, but is never moistened by water. So, also, a human being ought to do his work, his hands to work, and his heart to God, his passion. Over to you.